an interesting statistic I read recently that said that the income inequality that you're just talking about, okay, in 2005, the, the, the top 1% had the same amount of money that they did in 1928, right before the Great Depression. And it's interesting, FDR's Fed chairman, a guy by the name of Mariner S. Eccles, had an interesting comment after the Depression, and he said it was largely because of income inequality. When the rich people have so much money, it screws up the system. He said, as in a poker, ga poker game. Ben, hello. Wait, now it's my <laughs> turn. Right, aren't you a big poker player? Oh, yes, go ahead. Okay. Yes. As in a poker going. game where the... I like to ski. Let's just go on. <laughs> That's not in this analogy. Oh, I don't, well, I don't know what... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> as in a poker game where Rosie O'Donnell... <laughs> no. As in a poker game where the chips are concentrated in fewer and fewer hands, the other fellows could stay in the game only by borrowing when their credit ran out, the game stopped. That makes sense to me. I, I've been struggling for something to kitchen table this crisis. That makes a little Bill, sense. Bill, we, we don't and talk the Chinese about Chinese like it also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about it terribly often. It's something that they don't talk about in Congress and certainly in the corporate media. But the wealthiest 1% of the population earns more income today than the bottom 50%. Top 1% own more wealth than the bottom 90%. We have by far more inequality in terms of income and wealth than any other major country on earth. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty and we have more billionaires. I don't think that's what America is supposed to be about. 